of my last and fifth video on LED here. I want to talk to you about these ballast again. This is called, I forgot to mention, a magnetic ballast. The newer drivers in these LEDs are just a driver and they're electronic. So you're not dealing with this uh, five pound, 10 pound paperweight on some of them. The other thing about these is that if yours are old enough than they say uh, 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 PCBs, you have to dispose of them in a proper manner. But this one says no PCBs, which basically means, um, I can't say something in here is not harmful for the environment, but you don't have to go through a certain, uh, what we would call maybe a hazmat, if you will, to dispose of them. Those are really, really old fixtures, probably back in 1920 or I don't know, maybe the 30s or something like that. But most of them, even to the 50s and 60s, say no PCBs. So here is the difference, guys. Here is your fluorescent. These two have burnt out. This is a double ballast fixture, if I open this up. There's two ballast in here. This one over here is a four ballast, or two ballast, four lamp as well. I can come back later and relamp these and put double V mono lumens in. Instead of two lamps, I can put four. But for right now, they just requested let's do two lamps because they wanted to see the brightness plus their TVs down here. The neat thing about this also is you're not going to see hear that hum anymore and it's not going to sit there and buzz on you that's the old problem with the old magnetic ballast when you're retrofitting these again they're not that hard to do this is hot I do not suggest to do this at home Now you can hear that humming quit. Now that your wires are disconnected, you're fairly safe to disconnect your power. So there's a lot of wires in here when you're dealing with these. I typically cut off on all my old ballasts. That way if I put it on my truck, I don't get mixed up if it was good or bad, even if it was in decent shape. Uh, I'm very cautious about ever putting in old parts in someone's home. So when I disconnect and kill things, I make sure they're cut off for life. So what's neat is later on I can come back and use the other two tombstones and put four lamps on this. I'm going to keep the similar aspect of what I've done. I want to make sure that these outsides are done just like that one. So I can literally just swap these tombstones. Instead of turning my fixture around, I want my outside bulbs to light up. And that's how the red and blues are. So I'm going to light those up. The rest of it's pretty standard. We're just going to cap these off for now. We're going to wire these up to our 110, put our bulbs in, and we're done. So like I said, about 10 minutes of fixture by the time I set up, rip it apart, tear it down, and take the stuff out of here. 10 to 15 minutes of fixture. So it's safe to say if I had to go on a home, I could probably do about 4 to 5 in an hour. Thanks for joining us, guys. Have a good day.